part of a, a, a movement and part of a um, um, recovery, really, and to be who we are is part of our activism. And I think that's important. Activism is important. <laughs> and one of those, and we have, we have a lot of brave people in a movement uh, uh, for free thinking and secularism. Um, and atheism and agnosticism, you name it, to be, to be different. And one of those people in Saudi Arabia um, has been Rauf Badawi, that we all of us, I think, most of us, we have campaigned for his release. Uh, we are really pleased to have Ensaf Haider here today who want to give uh, an update about Raouf's situation. You know that he has been released from prison, but he is uh, still uh, cannot travel. Uh, so can I um, ask um, Ensof Haider, please, to come on the stage and give it a round of applause. Ensof has been Ensof has been brilliant. I think uh, it, you know in the last ten ten years that we have known, and she's been a staunch supporter of uh, uh, Raouf. And so we welcome her on the stage. Come on, Ensof. Now, Ensof will be speaking in Arabic, and we'll have. Um, Nayeri uh, Ghazarian, who is going from uh, Free Thought Lebanon, who is going to help us with translation. Ensof, en please come on. Hi. Okay. Good morning. Marhaba. <laughs> Bonjour. Ismi <laughs> Ensof Haider. زوجة معتقل الرأي رائف بدوي معتقل الرأي السابق رائف بدوي لقد احتفل العالم الحر بخروجه من السجن قبل حوالي خمسة أشهر لكن للأسف حريته كانت مشروطة وناقصة وظالمة My name is Insaf Haidar the wife of former prisoner of conscience رائف بدوي the free word celebrated his release from prison about five months ago, but unfortunately his freedom was conditional, incomplete and unjust. نعم, فرائف ممنوع من السفر من بعد خروجه من السجن لمدة عشر سنوات أخرى. ممنوع من التحدث إلى وسائل الإعلام وممنوع من المشاركة والكتابة في وسائل التواصل الاجتماعي والفضاء العام. Yes, for after being released from prison. Raif was banned from traveling for another 10 years. He is forbidden from speaking to the media, and he is forbidden from participating and writing on social media and the public place. تخيلوا معي أيها السادة بأن لنا ابنة اسمها نجوى كانت تبلغ من العمر 8 سنوات عندما دخل رايف إلى السجن عام 2012 ولن يتمكن رايف من رؤيتها إلا عندما تبلغ 28 من عمرها. Picture this, ladies and gentlemen. We have a daughter named Najwa who was eight when her father went to prison in 2012. But Raif will only be able to see her when she is 28 years old. سيداتي سادتي على حسب لائحة الاتهام التي وجهت له كان زوجي مذنبا بإهانة الإسلام. لكن جريمته في الحقيقة لم تتجاوز إيمانه بحقه في حرية التعبير عن رأيه. Ladies and gentlemen, according to the indictment against him, my husband was guilty of insulting Islam, but his real crime is his belief in his right to express his opinion. حرية التعبير سيداتي سادتي هي جوهر القضية. إنها ليست صراع بين الحضارات ولا خلافا بين الشرق والغرب، بل هي قضية تتعلق بحق عالمي إنساني يطالب به كل المدافعين عن حقوق الإنسان والناشطين في جميع أنحاء العالم. Freedom of expression, ladies and gentlemen, is at the heart of the issue. It is neither a clash of civilization nor a dispute between East and West. It is an issue of a universal human right called for by all human rights defenders and activists around the world. حرية التعبير ببساطة هي اللبنة الأساسية لأي نظام شفاف ومفتوح وديمقراطي. نحن في حاجة إليها لحمايتنا. Freedom of expression is simply 
the building block of any transparent, open, and democratic system. We need it to protect us. وبدونها يمكن للحكومات أن تنتهك حقوق مواطنيها مع الإفلات من العقاب. يمكن للمؤسسة الدينية إجبار من ينتقدوها على الصمت. ويمكن للفاعلين الأقوياء في المجتمع إساءة استخدام سلطتهم دون أي عواقب. Without it, governments can violate the rights of their citizens with impunity. The religious establishment can force those who criticize it to remain silent, and powerful actors in society can abuse their power without any consequences. حرية الرأي هي ضمير أي مجتمع حي. بعض البلدان تدعي أنه ينبغي تقليص حرية التعبير باسم الثقافة والتقاليد أو الدين. وفي الواقع فإنهم يستخدمون الدين لأخفاء افتقارهم إلى الشرعية وإسلوب حكمهم السلطوي. Freedom of opinion is a conscience of any living society. Some countries claim that freedom of expression should be curtailed in the name of culture, tradition, and or religion. In fact, they use religion to hide their lack of legitimacy and their authoritarian way of government. Culture and religion are only an excuse to violate human rights with impunity. فالثقافة والدين هما دريعة فقط لانتهاك حقوق الإنسان دون عواقب. ليس هناك مجال هنا للنسبية الثقافية فمن دون حرية التعبير عن الرأي لا توجد أي حرية على الإطلاق يجب على المرء التفكير في حق فقط بجميع دول العالم السلطوية والثيوقراطية إذ أن القاسم المشترك بين جميع هذه الدول بصرف النظر عن انتهاكها لحقوق الإنسان هو انتهاكا لحرية التعبير عن الرأي There is no room here for cultural relativity Without freedom of expression there is no freedom at all one must think only of all the authoritarian and theocratic states of the world. The common denominator of all these states, apart from their human rights violations, is their violation of freedom of expression. إذا مرة أخرى أقف أمامكم اليوم ممتنة للمشاركة في هذا الملتقى الهام وأذكركم أن قضية رائف بدوي مثلها في ذلك مثل صح مثل قضية صحفي تشارلي إبدو هي قضية حرية التعبير. So, once again, I stand before you today, grateful to participate in this important forum. And I remind you that the case of Raif Badawi, like that of Charlie Abdo, journalist, is the issue of freedom of expression. كلاهما مارس حقا عالميا في حقوق الإنسان في حرية الصحافة وحرية الرأي. وكلاهما دفع ثمنا باهضا من أجل ذلك. Both exercise a universal human right to freedom of the press and freedom of opinion. And both paid a heavy price for it. ولدا رجوتكم أن أن تتذكروا أيضا أن من قتل في مذبحة شارلي إنما قتلوا دفاعا عن قيم وعراف وحضارة إنسانية عظيمة تحمي كرامة وحقوق مواطنيها ومن المؤكد أن هذه القيم والقواعد تستحق القتال من أجلها والدفاع عمن يناضل من أجلها. Therefore, I beg you. To remember that those killed during the Charlie massacre were killed in defense of the values and traditions of a great human civilization that protects the dignity and rights of its citizens. أتمنى الشفاء العاجل والسلام لصديقنا سلمان رشدي والذي تعرض لمحاولة إرهابية قاشمة لإسكاته ورغم هذا لم ولن يسكت. واسمحوا لي ختاما ان اطلب من الجميع الوقوف ودقيقه صمت تضامنا مع صديقنا سلمى رشدي These values and norms are certainly worth fighting for and defending those who fight for them. I wish a speedy recovery and peace to our friend Salman Rushdie who was subjected to a brutal terrorist attempt to silence him and yet he was not and will not be silent. Let me conclude by asking everyone to observe a minute silence in solidarity with Salman Rushdie. Thank you all.
Great, thank you very much. Brilliant. Thank Marvelous. you. Marvelous. Uh, and staff, please just stay here. Uh, we want to uh, we want to thank you. We want to thank you for all the work that you've done so many years, and also in solidarity with Rauf Badavi, uh, the conference has created a, a piece of artwork with the hands reaching out. That's going to be presented to you uh, by Mariam Sami and Victoria Guggenheim. Could you please come on the stage, Mariam? Come on, come on, everybody! Give them a round of applause. Let's go on the stage. And this is to Rauf Badavi. Um, there is still time today if you want to add your palm print in solidarity and write a message of support, and it would be fantastic if you could do so. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Ensof. We will continue. We will continue to fight uh, for Rauf Badavi until he is completely free from uh, uh, restrictions and oppression of the Saudi Arabian government. Thank you, Rauf. Thank you. Well done. <laughs>